Hello. I hope someone out there is hearing this. We need help. We're surrounded by hostiles. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. We're at a place called Libertalia. If you're listening to this and you're not afraid of combat, we could really use your assistance. Otherwise, please contact a group calling themselves. Get your head down! Tossing grenades! Dead as can be. They had it coming. I've witnessed.
Subscribe now. I took care of those raiders for you. Figures you'd be the one to show. Thank you. Those lowlifes caught us off guard, then boxed us in. They sure didn't want us escaping. I'm just grateful my escort was able to hold them off until you arrived. Don't know what I would have done without him. Is it just the two of you? Yeah, just me and the big guy. You hurt? No, I'm fine. Muscles here did a good job keeping the raiders at bay. You'll have to explain what's going on. Uh, that's a... well... That's a long and personal story. <laughs> but... Guess I do owe you some details. Before we got trapped up here, I was on my way to find someone. A man called Jake Evans. He's part of a group calling themselves the Academy. Maybe you've heard of them. They're the ones that started a war with the Gunners. How did you even get up here? We came in by rowboat. Strong waves pushed us off course, and we ended up docking just below. Raiders obviously weren't happy to see us. Started shooting right away. Our only options were to stand out in the open, jump into the sea, or climb up here. I think we chose right. So, you're with the Gunners? Uh, no, I most definitely am not. But, I am carrying a message from them. I'm the one in charge of that group. <laughs> I was wondering how long until you'd let that slip. Do I know you? And <laughs> people say I'm slow. Ah, <laughs> uh, this better. You just can't talk in those things. If you have something to say, I'm listening. Always with the big displays of generosity with you. Sorry, what's going on? Do you two know each other? Yeah. Something like that. Look, we can get into the why I'm here later. For now, you and the lady got things to discuss. All right. I'll go along with it. If you really are that group's leader, I suppose introductions are in order. I'm Caitlin. Jake's ex-wife. I assume he's already told you about me. And now that I don't have raiders shooting at me, I need to find Jake right away. I have to talk to him, and you as well. It's important. Why are you looking for him? It's to do with the Gunners. At, and uh, our family. If you're just going to talk to him, why do you need me along? What I have here concerns you both. Okay, let's talk. What's wrong? Not here. I'll explain everything, but... Jake needs to hear this, too. You have a headquarters, right? Used to be the Gunner's Plaza? I'll make my way there. Don't worry. I'll make sure she gets the plaza safe and sound. Then later, you and me, we need to have a little chat. Thanks again for the rescue. And please, meet me and Jake at your HQ as soon as you're able. Get lost. God damn it. That's not your business. Ugh, go cough up a hairball. Jacob's on his way. He'll be here any minute. Caitlin! I almost didn't believe it. But it's really you. Hello, Jake. It's been a while. It's been a while? Are you kidding me? Where's Laura Caitlin? 
Where's my daughter? I understand you're upset, but I need you to listen to me. Well, let's hear it. Laura, she's... They have her, Jake. They took our daughter. That's why I'm here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, don't tell me. Don't. Do not tell me the gunners have Laura. Hey, hey, calm down. Let's talk about this. You cannot be serious. I, I can't believe... No, 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 you're right. Just... Just, just tell me what happened. Well, I thought I'd finally found Laura a decent place to call home. A settlement just outside the Commonwealth. It was no Sanford, but its people were kind enough. Then, one day, as she was playing with that radio of hers, Laura picks up a broadcast. From you. She hears her dad talking all about rebuilding the Commonwealth, about creating somewhere just like Sanford used to be. Please, go on. We were both shocked. Far as we knew, you were a million miles away. But here you were, just a few days travel from us, saying all the right things. We had our doubts, of course, but Laura wanted to see if what you were saying was true. And just like you, I could never say no to Laura. I decided we'd travel back from the Commonwealth outskirts, see these settlements of yours, see if they could maybe be the home Laura needed. What happened after that? We set out on foot. News of a war breaking out hadn't reached us. So, you can imagine my surprise when a gunner patrol approached us. They started by asking us a bunch of questions. Who we were, where we were going. I didn't tell them much. But turns out, I didn't have to. They took our belongings, found Laura's radio, and since it was still tuned into your broadcast, they heard everything they needed to put all the pieces together. They figured out who we were, where we were going. That must have been hard on you. It wasn't the first or last time I've been ambushed. But it's certainly the kind of experience a child can do without. After that, they took us to one of their camps. Laura and I were separated. I was dragged into a room and interviewed by a real unsettling woman. Shaved head, cold eyes. She explained to me what was going on. The war, Jake, your group. It was a lot to take in, but it also gave me an idea. I made out that I was sympathetic to the Gunners, and that I had been on my way to confront Jake about some imaginary grievance. I asked if there was anything I could do in exchange for our freedom. Turns out, there was. I had to deliver something to Jake and his group. She left the room, came back some minutes later, said I was free to go. But if I wanted Laura, I had to deliver something to Jake and his group. That sounds... unusual. She said that's all that I had to do, and that the rest would be on you and Jake. On oh, me and the Chief? Just what is it they wanted you to deliver? Here. This is what I was given. A hollow tape? It's got your name on it, darling. Mine too. Huh. This looks like my whole visual data. We'll have to load the tape via the comma ray. Sounds pretty important. Go ahead. This is Captain Lamont, leader of the Gunners. First, you're to be congratulated. No adversary has ever given us as much trouble as you. Your resourcefulness, your tenacity, it deserves respect. That said, this war has gone on long enough. Respect or no, I intend to destroy you. But before that, your head of engineering, Jake. We have his child. And I want something in return for her release. I think you'll find my terms reasonable. I don't demand surrender. 
and I've no delusions of negotiating for peace. All I ask is that you hand over a single item. Give me the receiver module from your comm array, and I'll return the child. I'll even allow you to pick the neutral ground where we can make the exchange. The frequency to contact us is embedded in this message. We want the receiver module, but losing that would cripple the comm array. It would really hurt our settlements. They'd barely be able to function. Our people would suffer. Some could even die. How would people suffer? Without the receiver module, we'd lose most communication. Power grids would fluctuate. Even food and water production would be disrupted. You see, the module is what allows the comm array to clearly send and receive data from ASAMs. Without it, the infrastructure we've spent so long building would all but collapse. Back when Berman took the comm hub, we could barely keep on top of things. And we're way more interconnected now than we were then. If it needs to be done, then so be it. I know this ain't an easy decision, but, but we're talking about my kid's life here. Look, I've learned a lot about ASAM technology. I, I reckon I could get the comma rate to function without the module. Although it would be working at a greatly diminished capacity, settlements would still suffer. We, we might have to rough it for a while, but we could live without the receiver module. That's why I think we should... Jake, no. You're being rash, just like always. You can't just give these gunners what they want. What? Caitlin, are you out of your mind? They got Laura! I, I, I have, have to... to what, Jake? Hurt your own settlements? Your own people? Sacrifice what's been built up around you because it benefits you? After hearing your broadcast, I thought maybe you'd changed. But it's Sanford all over again. No, 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 it, this is different. This, it's not the same. I think that's too harsh. Jacob's a good person. He's just worried about his daughter. A loving father should put his children before himself. But when the cards are on the table, Seems Jake will always use the well-being of others as his personal bargaining chips. Do you really think the sacrifices will be worth it? I, of, of course I don't want to hurt the people who've joined us, but my options here are limited. Look, simple fact of the matter is that I am not leaving my daughter with those monsters. I'll do whatever I have to in order to get her back. She's my daughter too, Jake. But now that I've heard what the Gunners want for her release, I can't in good conscience go along with that. I'd gladly risk everything I can for Laura. But this is at the expense of others. We can find another way. Please, don't give the Gunners that component. Hopefully we can work something out. I sure hope you mean that. I... I need some time to think about this. Lupe, can you take over my responsibilities for a while? Oh, uh, um, of course. Sorry, Chief. I, I just need to figure some things out. Hey, Chief. That gunner that came in with our guest, he's been requesting to speak with you. Aiden put him in lockup. Up to you if you want to go see him, of course. Just thought I should let you know. How's it going? Well now, here's a superstar themselves. <laughs> Man, you sure get up to some wild stuff. Anything to report? No problems to report. We're doing good. In fact, we're doing better than good. We're doing great. What's on your mind? Kinda wishing I packed a spare pair of socks. Have any suggestions? Uh. How about some more bathrooms? Damn it. That was all. Hey, now, the Jake I knew never listened to anybody, let alone me. But I notice Jake listens to you. If you're on as friendly of terms as you seem, when he's ready to talk, please. Convince him that giving the Gunners that part is the wrong thing to do. 
We can find another way to save Laura. A way that doesn't hurt innocent people. Why does it matter so much to you? Besides not wanting innocents to suffer? <sighs> Jake's a good person. It's why I fell for him in the first place. But when it comes to Laura, he's got one massive blind spot. It's like he doesn't see how his actions just end up hurting those he's trying to protect. I don't want him to repeat past mistakes. And I don't want Laura knowing her rescue came at the expense of others. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. It's appreciated. Hey. We need to talk. Listen up. I got some dirt on Captain Lamont that you're gonna want to hear. But don't go thinking I'm giving this away for free. You see, uh, I don't want to be a gunner no more. I want to switch sides. So, you let me be one of you guys, and I'll tell you everything I know about Lamont. That's my price for the intel. We got a deal? This doesn't make any sense. Why would you do this? Look, Algernon, Wes, they had plans. You could always see how we'd come out on top if you just did what they said. But Lamont, the way she talks about this war, it's like she expects no one to come out of it alive. Not you, not us, not even her. It's real unnerving how she talks about all this kind of stuff with that smile on her face. That's how I realized it. If I have any hope of surviving all of this, it's with you guys. That price is an insult. I get it. You don't like me. I can't say I much like you either. But this is bigger than either of us. And do you want the intel or not? Sure, we're friends. Just tell me what you need. Mm, all right. I'm trusting you. So here's the deal. <laughs> Lamont? She's fucking crazy! And I don't mean crazy like me, I mean full-on whack job. Her attitude's something else. Like, she doesn't give a damn how this war ends. She thinks she'll get what she wants, no matter what. I couldn't make no sense of it. But then, the answer fell right into my lap. And I think I figured out why she's such a basket case. Okay, I'm listening. Lamont, she's dying. Got some kind of disease or something that's eating away at her. And she's real fucking bitter about it. I reckon that's why she's so hell-bent on fighting this war. So she can set everything on fire and watch it burn before she meets her maker. And whoever's given the gunners our orders, they promised Lamont a way to wipe the Commonwealth off the map. All she has to do is play ball first. Do you really think she's dying? Sure enough to leave the gunners and risk coming to you. Listen, point is, Lamont's on her way out. She knows it. But if she fulfills our contract and our employer ain't bullshitting, she gets handed the means to kill everyone, gunners included. If she's so whacked out, I think she'd do it. I don't want to die, so I came here. And I'm gonna help you guys win this war instead. Fuck Lamont. Why didn't you run away? <sighs> I ain't gonna lie. Did think about it. Maybe steal a vertebrate or just hoof it until the Commonwealth was a speck in the distance. But. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. This place is my home, damn it. My, my ma and my sister are buried here. I just gonna leave them behind like that. Thanks. What now? Well, information's power, innit? Maybe you can blackmail Lamont or 
Find a doctor to fix her up or something. Shit, you figure it out. I ain't your damn babysitter. You got a bunch of smart asses working for you, don't you? Maybe one of them will come up with something. Well, that's it. That's all I got on Lamont. So can I join your little club now or what? Follow my orders. Uh, maybe we can make this work. Fair enough. You're the boss. I'll play by your rules. So, uh... Someone gonna come let me out of here, or...? Excuse me. Yeah? Hmm? renovation job you've done here. You've clearly got an eye for interior design. What can I say? Some people have just got it. You're probably wondering why I'm here. Well, I, I was all set to leave the Commonwealth behind. Told myself it was time to start fresh. But if I'm being honest, really, I was just running away. Scared, huh? But my mom didn't raise a coward. Well, she did, uh, but that wasn't her fault. Point is, I've come back, and this time, I plan to stick around. Uh, that is, if you'd still like me to work for you. I'm not sure I should trust you. That's fair. I mean, I did already cut and run on you once before, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't have more than a few skeletons in my closet. <laughs> Look, I know I may not be the most reliable person, but for what it's worth, I really do want to help you. You're doing something good for the Commonwealth, and I want to be part of that. I don't need you. Whoa. Tell me what you really think. But that's fine. No hard feelings. I'll see myself out. And good luck with everything.